This is the Weekly Rundown, where we cover rig counts, oil prices, and trending news for the week. And I'm your host, Greg Williams. Welcome back to the Weekly Rundown. Oil prices closed almost 2% down this week as strong U.S. economic data heightened concerns that the Federal Reserve would further tighten monetary policy to tackle inflation, a move that could hit fuel demand. Let's see what our top articles are for this week. Stacked Olympia to be converted for deep sea polymetallic recovery. Transocean has agreed to contribute the stacked ocean rig Olympia for GSR's ongoing exploration work. GSR intends to convert the Olympia for a system integration test scheduled for 2025 to validate the technical environmental feasibility of recovering polymetallic nodules in ultra-deep water on a commercial scale. Total Energies at the helm of a new golden block. Total Energies has decided to invest almost 50% of its global exploration budget to Namibia this year as it hopes to confirm a multi-billion barrel discovery on Block 2913B within the Orange Basin. CEO Patrick Pouillon made the announcement during the company's 2022 results and 2023 objectives this past week. 13 drilling contractors rush in for new Petrobras tender. Petrobras launched a tender for the charter of up to four drilling rigs. The tender is divided into three non-excluding lots and the opening of the envelopes with the proposals is scheduled in principle for the 17th of March. According to the rules of the tender, only the 13 companies pre-qualified for the competition will be able to participate in the bidding process. Apache terminates the Ocean Patriot. Apache informed Diamond Drilling Offshore that it intends to exercise its option to terminate its drilling contract for the Ocean Patriot. The rig will continue to perform services until the contract ends on July 2023. Pursuant to the contract upon cancellation, Apache is obligated to pay the Diamond an early termination fee of $12.5 million. Pingxing 6 becomes deepest vertical well in Asia. A unit of Petro China Company Limited has completed drilling Asia's deepest vertical oil well. Official news agency Xenow reported on this previous Monday as China's top oil and gas firm seeks to meet government goals for greater domestic energy security. Now it is time for our oil prices. As of closing on Friday, February 17th, WTI was at $76.55. Brent was at $82.97. Natural gas was at $2.26 per 1 million BTU. As for our rig counts, International up one rig to 901 from December's count. That is a 60 unit increase from one year ago. And for North America last week, US was down one rig to 760. And Canada was down two rigs to 248. This week's rundown is sponsored by Alliance One Oilfield. Alliance One Oilfield is a leading oilfield supply, service, and support company based in Houston, Texas. They provide a variety of products and services to meet the needs of clients worldwide. You can find them at alloneoilfield.com. That is all one oilfield, A L L, the number one, O I L F I E L D.com. Just a reminder, all of this and more can be found at www.ricklings.com, where our goal is to simply connect people. And that's it for this week's rundown. If you're interested in sponsoring the show, then drop us an email at info at wrigglings.com. Have a great week, everyone. This has been the Weekly Rundown, hosted by Greg Williams and published by wrigglings.com. If you're interested in becoming a partner or sponsoring the show, then drop us an email at info at wrigglings.com. That is I-N-F-O at R-I-G. L-Y-N-X dot com.